Hello, I'd like to talk about another important key area in regards to praying for the cultural gateways. That's media and communications. This is such a key area in our day and age we live in because it seems the minds and generation of our youth have been taken over by this area as well as the older generation. You know, uh, uh, the Bible says that the wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. And so through this media communications mountain, what has happened is that the foolishness of man has gone through. And I remember back in the 50s and 60s and the 70s, you know, you had a lot of wholesome shows. You know, you had family type shows. They didn't show sexual scenes. They didn't show the rape and the murder, all the gruesomeness, the grotesqueness that we see today. It's unbelievable the transition that has been made from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, 80s, up until the present time. Unbelievable. I asked myself, what more can they show? So we need to take back this media mountain. And the only way to do it is to invade it with our prayers. And so we have a prayer guide that's listed here on the website. And I'd like you to really take a day of the week, or some of you might want to take it daily. Maybe this is an area you've been called to. But we need to get laborers into that harvest field. Because we see the meeting communications is a way into the eye, into our ear gate. And this is something that we have to realize. Because whatever goes through the eyes and ears ends up and takes over the heart. And it says in the word, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So we see through this meeting communication realm, we see a, a desensitizing taking place. I remember uh, uh, my, I kept my kids watching a lot of things when they were younger. Then one time I gave in to let them watch that movie Jaws. I couldn't believe the shock on their faces and the expressions and when that big shark came out and they were so desensitized. I mean, they weren't sense, they were not sensitive, I should say, to the violence that was there. And it was a big shock for them and me as a parent. So when I see all the murders on TV, all the bloodletting, all the sexualization, all the homosexuality, and the shows that are infused with it. When I see the denigration of, of Christianity, when I see adultery almost being promoted at times, I see all the violence in the shows. What more can be done? It's no wonder we have a society that's so uh, not in tune now with what the biblical worldview paradigm is. It's because the media communication mountain has been taken over. Then you have the liberal news which is anti-God, trying to take away our Christian heritage. And again, there's a saying, if you keep telling people long enough, they'll begin to believe it. And that's what's happening here. And so we need to take back in this mountain, and it's going to be you who are in the watch of the Lord, praying diligently that God would raise up men and women in this media communication mountain to speak the truth of God to bring forth that biblical worldview paradigm. And with this technology of the internet, uh, we have Facebook, we have the Twitter, we have chat rooms, we have all the available in porn now, the pornography through these mediums. Our young people are engaged in it, and, and, and it takes up most of their life now, it seems. And so we have to get godly influences to impact, and it's only going to be prayer that does it. So in our watch of the Lord, we're going to have to really engage this media communication mountain. Again, as I have said many times, thank you for Lauren Cunningham of YOM and Bill Bright of Campus Crusade and Francis Schaefer, that great Christian philosopher, who they revealed to us how God gave them key things, mind molders, areas that we have to go after in our culture, these cultural gateways, these mountains. These are the areas we have to engage and attack, and it begins with prayer. So I ask you to join with me and pray into this mountain. Look at the prayer guide and utilize it, or be led of the Lord to pray as you will. In Jesus' name, God bless you.